Thank you for plugging into this Family Life News podcast, streaming issues-driven, family-focused news. And welcome back to another edition of Issues in Education. Mondays during the Noon Report, we spotlight the issues impacting our public schools with the one and only Dr. Ralph Kerr at the Teaching and Learning Institute in Houghton, New York. As we like to say, often imitated but never duplicated, Dr. (laughs) Ralph Kerr. Hey, Ralph, we've got so much to discuss this week. Let's jump right in. The Regents' exams are back in New York. Of course, last year they were voluntary, uh, but uh, since we're doing so well on COVID, they are back. And it has been a couple of years since students have been made to sit and take these tests. So if you would refresh us with some good test taking tips, Ralph. Yeah, well, this can be a scary time but because it has been a while, as you said. First of all, be sure that you studied properly. Yeah. I mean, you can't expect to do well on a test if you don't know the material. And then uh, it's important to get a good night's sleep the night before. Read through the test first before you start answering the questions. And one other thing that I learned along the way is this. Go with your first inclination in terms of response. Yeah. So I hope that would be helpful. Very good. Don't get paralysis by analysis. That's, a, that's something yeah. I <laughs> suffer with as well. Well, hey, the big budget vote, the school board vote in New York is just eight days away now, Ralph. How can taxpayers find more information on voting times and locations since uh, this vote is different than regular elections? It is different, and I can tell you that myself and the other folks here at TLI are really anxious about as the budget and the votes as it comes up, because we've been involved, of course, in trying to get people to consider running for their local school board. People can get information. Some districts get, uh, actually send out a newsletter, or if you're uncertain about it, simply call the district clerk at the main office of the school district and get the information in our local district this coming Tuesday. So get as much information as you can prior to the vote. Yeah, and just because you don't know where to vote, no excuse to sit this one out. Find out where the vote is happening and be a part of the process. Uh, Ralph, a a Pennsylvania high school made news recently. It it actually apologized and suspended a teacher who participated in a drag show on school property. This is a veteran French teacher at this school uh, who helped organize this event. Happened in the town of Hempfield, uh, was the district right to take this course of action? You know, they absolutely were. This is just totally obscene, really. I actually looked at some of the video from the show, and mm. it, it was just incredibly bad. And uh, this district apparently has a history of having some of their teachers do some things that are really inappropriate. The thing that really bothered me was that the teacher involved expressed her joy about the excitement of the event. Hmm. So obviously just a really poor professional judgment. And I'm so glad that the uh, school district has taken a strong stand on this. And we mentioned that story to mention this one. Conversely, there's a school out in Colorado that's making news. It's called the No Politics School. That's not what it's really called, but that's what they're calling it. The Merritt (laughs) Academy. It's a public school. I believe it might be a charter school. Correct me if I'm wrong. In Woodland Park, Colorado. Politics is banned. uh, And since it's open last year, Ralph, it has seen its enrollment double. Should this be the model for schools to follow in the future? Well, it really should be. Many of our listeners are probably just sick and tired of the politics that have now creeped into schools. This is a charter school, so it's part of the public school system. Mm -hmm. Really, their emphasis is where it should be on science, math, history, literature, and the arts. And I can tell you this, I happened to attend the candidates meeting this past week, and I found lots of the candidates calling for the same thing. Let's yeah. get rid of all this other superfluous stuff and get back to the basics. And uh, I talked to another candidate that we're supporting here at TLI, and they're having the same experience in their district. The public is looking for candidates who will commit to science, math, history, literature, and the arts, yeah. and let all the other stuff, the political stuff, 
go. All right. That is some good stuff right there. We've covered a lot of ground in, in five minutes. But, hey, maybe you want more information about that big vote coming up on May 17th. Ralph, you have a wonderful website where folks can go. What is the Teaching and Learning Institute anyway? Uh, find out more at whyrun.org. Whyrun.org. 